Hello, my name is Jeremy Carter, and today we're going to be installing our factory style Ionic running boards with our 3010 bracket kit on our 09 E350 band. Our front brackets will be marked with red, our front middle brackets will be marked with gray, our middle brackets will be marked with blue, our rear middle brackets are also marked with blue, and then we have the smaller rear brackets and a brace for each one as well. Now, if you're installing this kit on a 250 or 350 van, you're going to use this green bracket in place for one of these blue brackets. If you're installing this kit on the E150, you would not use the green brackets and just the four blue ones. Now let's go ahead and get started. All right, first step, we're going to slide the bolts into the bottom of the channel of the running board. You have two channels, one on the top, one on the bottom. You're going to put five in each one. All right, now next step is we're going to evenly space the pairs of bolts across the running board. All right, next we're gonna have a jack at either end of the running board, and what we're gonna do is hold it up flush to the undercarriage while we fit the brackets. All right, next we're gonna locate our red bracket and install it on the driver's side just behind the front tire by this gusset to support the front of the board. I find it best to take a nut on the bottom of the running board, which is gonna hold the bracket in place when you mount it to the bottom of the van. All right, now we're gonna grab our self-tapping screw and our 3 8 socket, and we're gonna install the bracket to the bottom side of the body, as close to this gusset as you can get it. Next, we're gonna take the half-inch nuts and we're gonna install them on the bolts on the bottom side of the running board to fasten it, the running board to the bracket. Just finger tight, because you gotta adjust everything in the end. All right, next, we're gonna install our brace to our bracket with our half inch bolt and nut. And we're gonna install our brace to the side of the body with our self-tapping bolt. Now moving on to the next bracket. All right, next we're gonna locate our front metal bracket, the gray one, and we're going to mount it about an inch to the left to the rear of the factory hole in the bottom of the body. And again, we're gonna hold it in place with a half inch nut on the bottom side of the running board. Now we're gonna use our 3 8 socket and we're going to mount the bracket to the bottom side of the body with our self-tapping screw. All right, next we're going to install our bracket brace to the bracket with our half inch bolt and nut. Finger tight again. Now we're going to fasten it to the body with another self-tapping screw and a 3 8 socket. I'm going to put the last nut on the bottom side of the running board. Now we're going to move on to the next bracket. All right, now if your van is equipped with rear AC, you're going to have four AC lines going across the driver's side of the body. It's a lot easier if you remove this little bushing here that holds them all together so you can move them around to get your bolts in place when you get ready to mount your brackets. All right, next we're going to locate our middle blue bracket and we're gonna mount that to the cross member on the bottom side of the body. And again, we're gonna hold it in place with the half inch nut on the bottom of the running board while we fasten it to the bottom of the body. Now we got our 3 8 socket and our self-tapping screw and we'll go ahead and screw that into the bottom of the body. All right, next we're gonna mount our brace to our bracket with our half inch bolt and nut. Next we're going to install our brace to the body with our 3 8 self-tapping screw. 
Now installed the last nut on this bracket to the bottom of the running board and moving on to the next bracket. Next, we're gonna get our rear middle blue bracket and hold it in place with the half inch nut on the bottom of the running board. And if we were on the passenger side of a 250 or a 350 van, we'll be using the green bracket in this place. Now next we're gonna fasten the bracket to the bottom of the body and the cross member with our 3 8 self-tapping screw. Then we're gonna mount our brace onto our bracket with our half inch bolt and our nut. Again, we're just gonna do this finger tight. Now we're gonna secure that brace to the body with another self-tapping screw. And then install the other nut on the bottom of the running board. Now we can move back to our last bracket. Now on our rear bracket, we're gonna hold it up in place with our half inch nut. And we're gonna make sure that we have it flush on the side of the cross member here on the body. All right, next we're gonna secure our bracket to the body cross member with our 3 8 self-tapping screw. All right, next we're gonna put our brace on our bracket with our half inch bolt and nut. Now to get it to fit flush against the body of the van, we'll have to bend it a little bit. And now we can secure it with our 3 8 self-tapping screw. All right, now we're gonna put the last half inch nut on the bottom of the running board. And we're gonna go back through and re-tighten up all the hardware on the driver's side and then repeat the process on the passenger side. And thank you for watching and have a great day.